All right, welcome back, folks. It's been a little while since I posted a video, so I'm sorry if you've missed me. Thanks, homie. I missed you too. But we're back, and we're talking the pros and cons of off-body carry. First, I wanted to start with the cons. There are quite a few, but before we dove in, I wanted to give a little bit of society news. Number one, if you've placed an order with us, specifically our war belt rigs or any of our apparel, it's running behind because of the COVID funk, and so sorry, we are truly working very hard. Thank you so much for your patience. Also, we have our Africa trip scheduled. So if you want to come on safari with me and my homeboy, Evan, that's happening January of 2021, link down below and check that out. And most exciting of all, we are just days out from our official launch of our Warrior Poet Society Network. That's a bunch of shows. Our Warrior Poet Show will be one of those rolling out. It'll start June 1st and we're super excited. We throw a ton of money and time and energy and we've been planning this for a very long time and now it's here ready. So make sure you check that out as well. All right, without further ado, pros and cons of off-body carry. And as I said before, we're going to start with the cons of off-body carry. The first biggest con is you can't put your bag down. So if you have your gun stored in a bag rather than on you, this is now your baby. You can't put down your baby and walk away because if you did, someone else getting into it or stealing it can be a really bad idea. So once you have a gun in a bag, you have to babysit that. If you get up and go somewhere, this is now a permanent part, just like you're wearing your pants, you don't leave your pants anywhere. This is now kind of akin to that. Second con is muggings, uh, especially you imagine a gal with a purse and I don't have a purse, I have this. This is a satchel or a man purse. This is my Merce right here. And uh, if I was holding it on my shoulder, walking down in my stilettos down the street and somebody grabbed and attacked. No, no, I feel violated. And pulled this off, now I've just armed a bad guy. And so that's less than ideal. And obviously now you can't use that to defend yourself. So the place that you would want to defend yourself could be the very first item that's compromised. And so, First and foremost, con is you have to babysit it. That is now a piece of your clothing like your pants. You have to stay with it. Uh, second thing is a mugging. Uh, the third thing is it's just slower. If I have it on my body and I practice those draws, I can be really quick. A bag is just gonna be a little bit slower. I don't know how much slower it really depends on you, but if you get an ideal setup, as I have some, uh, something like this with a quick draw pull tab, uh, and you guys have heard me do uh, reviews on these bags. We have them on our website and they come with all kinds of panels and holsters and stuff. You can be pretty darn fast out of these things. Let's go ahead and put it to the test. So you notice first, let's just establish a baseline. Here is a draw and very good. Here was my time on that draw. And now let's try it out of the bag. Very good. And so you saw out of the bag, even kind of best case scenario, and I'm not out I'm not doing draws out of bags like that all the time. I was just kind of did a few warm ups and then tried to hit it for the video. But anyway, you see, it's it's clearly going to be a bit slower. The fourth con to off body carry is the safety factor. If you put a gun just in a bag that can just slide all over the place, upside down, come out of the holster. And then you have all kinds of stuff that could fish in trigger guards, pull the trigger. And when you need it, now you have to fish through, especially gals and purses. It's like Santa Claus magical red bag of presents. I mean, there's just all kinds of stuff in there and to be able to find your gun quickly and know that the muzzle isn't pointing straight up at you, that can be a big deal. Now, there are things that you can do to mitigate a lot of these cons, but on their face, they're cons. So for instance, that right there, you can take any of these holsters. This is my favorite appendix holster, link down below, of course, for you guys. You can also get them with these cool guy ulti clips. And so you can order this holster with these, you stick that on there and one on each side. And this allows you to kind of put your gun in a bag like in a pocket and latch it down like so and now your gun isn't going to go anywhere removing that big safety consideration from you and also now you're able to draw quicker all right so there are a few cons let's go over some pros the first great pro of off-body carry is when you're not wearing enough clothes to effectively conceal a firearm so if you're at the gym or are you're going to the beach or you're just wearing your birthday suit, you're going streaking across the quad to the gymnasium, this would be a good time to have a bag and have a blaster in there. When I just can't stick a gun anywhere, I'll have one in a bag. But again, now just like the con, now that bag, 
I have to babysit it. A second really cool pro that people really don't think about is you can gain a tactical advantage. I can't just have a gun out in public ready to defend myself, but imagine, and I'll return back to my man purse here, uh, if I was able to, I'm in a seedy area and I put my hand inside this bag and I've got a gun and I could be pointing this gun at anyone I wanted and they couldn't really see that. Yo, Bob, why you been tripping? Same's true if you had kind of like one of those day planner notebooks and you had one of those guys and you're able to just have that and you fish your hand through and you could pull the trigger. Or even better still, you could have a briefcase with one of those buttons on it and you can turn it into a machine gun. So a machine gun's in there, you can point and shoot all around. All of a sudden I'm crestfallen at the fact that I don't have a machine gun briefcase. In the event I used something like that to gain that tactical advantage, I can just shoot bullets straight through the bag and I never even have to present my gun at all. That's pretty groovy. All right, a real cool third pro to off-body carry is you can get away with carrying stuff that normally you wouldn't be able to, such as armor. In this bag, I've got, of course, my gun. I've got spare magazines. I've got medical and flashlights and the cool stuff that I like to have and computers and just adulting things. But I also have an armor panel, which makes me feel super great. This video, I'm not, I'm not wanting to do stuff on the bags that we carry on our website, though they're there, but they also can kind of come with, you can partner them up with a special armor panel that is trimmed to fit your exact pack. So make sure you check out our website, help us pay some bills, yay capitalism, all that. But back to our pros and cons list. The fourth pro, so I did four cons, here's the fourth pro, is you can have bigger guns and silenced stuff. And I already mentioned medical and things. So for instance, this pack, it is a taller pack, obviously, but I'm able to Dun, dun, dun. Yay, AR-15, right, because I like to party. So to be able to carry around a full-size AR-15 is pretty awesome. And I can get this even shorter by doing more barrel length. And I've got a muzzle device on there and a flashlight. And so that's a lot of gun to be able to put in a pack. And you can get even smaller versions of shoulder mounted uh, firearms if you wanted to, but off-body carry, can be dismissed really quickly by some because they notice the cons without really noticing the pros. And some people who are really big fans of off-body carry see the pros, but they don't really understand the cons. And that can set you up for failure, especially if you're some gal, you've got a purse, you've got your gun in there, and you're really unsafe and didn't know it, or you're not really thinking about the mugging. Hey, never just droop it over one shoulder. It needs to go crossbody and it worn in front and your hand is on it. And that may be a dorky way for a gal to carry uh, her little clutch or bag or whatever. I don't know the girl things. I shouldn't have even tried. But anyway, just know bad guys may attack. These are some cons and you wanna be able to think about that at least so you know what you're walking into. Guys, this was pros and cons of off-body carry. Someone out there that you know will benefit fit from this video. So don't hoard this amazing knowledge. Go ahead and share this video to your social media accounts. Send it to some people that could benefit. Make sure you like the video. Comment down below if I missed anything or you didn't like something or you just don't like my face. That's hurtful, but I get it. You can go ahead and sound off down below in the comments. Subscribe, hit the notifications bell. And again, guys, make sure you check out our site. Coming close, Warrior Poet Society Network rolling in hot. Guys, this was fun for me. Hopefully it was for you as well. See you next time. Train hard, train smart.